Hello and welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics Advanced Knowledge Problem of the Week. This week, um, all, we're, all we know is that two cylinders of radius r are, um, they intersect at their axis and um, they intersect at a right angle. So I've drawn here kind of our two cylinders and I've centered them at the origin for the sake of easiness. And here I've drawn a I guess this is a side view and a top view over here. So um, this view we're kind of on the z-axis looking down. This view we're on the y-axis looking across. And I've labeled, I've kind of color coded these caps so you, you can help visualize it. Um, because this problem really is uh, practice in kind of visualizing 3D uh, um, volumes. And one thing we should notice too is that there's um, symmetry in all, four in all four quadrants in both of these. So we kind of have a eight-way symmetry in, in three dimensions. So let's look at um, the volume in which these two cylinders are overlapping. And so we're going to imagine uh, kind of the curve of this cylinder will come, like, will come down like that. And um, and it will keep being the outer bound until it reaches this point. At which point um, the uh, that line is going to be flush against both cylinders because uh, their radius, their distance from the axis are both the same. And then we're going to continue along and and we're going to be on the out surface of this cylinder. So I'm going to redraw this little slice so that it's a little easier to make sense of. So this is one eighth of the volume that we're trying to uh, calculate. And one thing to notice is that each time, uh, no matter where we are on the z-axis, we're going to be on we're going to be on one cylinder here, and then at this point we're going to transfer. And so that means that we have a square here, also because they intersect at a right angle. So that means we're going to have a square here because all these lengths are equal. And furthermore, we're going to have a square at any point on the z-axis. So this is going to be like our integration building block, uh, is that little square. So um, let's kind of just look at this um, in, a, in a 2D sense to try and find out the dimensions of this square. So I've redrawn this this thing here so this point so this point here is the same as that point and we know that since we're looking at a, a cylinder with constant uh, radius r we know that this this point is going to be r um, and we're we're trying to find the side length of of uh, this square so that we can add up an infinitesimal an infinitude of infinitesimal little volumes and get the whole volume. So um, this r is constant. Um, as the z varies, the uh, a will change. So let's find a as a function of z. Before we do that, we're just going to use Pythagorean's theorem and say r squared equals a squared plus z squared. Therefore, um, a squared equals Um, and therefore, a squared equals r squared minus c squared. And that's very convenient because a squared is the area of that little square. Um, so now what we're going to do is just set up an integral. So volume 
And keep in mind, we're looking for eight times whatever the volume of this of this uh, solid is. So eight times, um, and we're we're just sliding up the z-axis and zero to r of um, of our area times uh, a little change in our a little change in uh, z, which is going to act as our height. So this would be like um, area times height is the uh, volume of a cylinder. We're adding up uh, constantly over this whole solid. So we're going to we're just going to evaluate this inter uh, evaluate this integral and find the volume. And of course, uh, r is just a constant, so integrating that, uh, you know, we can just uh, look at the linear terms here. And so we're going to take upper minus lower. Uh, and when we plug in r, we're going to get something. But what I, what I want to say is just that one, once we uh, plug in 0, uh, these terms are going to vanish, so we're just going to look at r in our calculations. And I've just introduced a common denominator and so that we can subtract it. So the volume of two cylinders intersecting at a right angle through their axes is 16 over third, 16 thirds r cubed, depending on what your radius is, you're going to get, uh, you're going to, the volume is going to grow uh, cubic, uh, in a cubic manner. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching uh, the Advanced Knowledge Problem of the Week. I hope you enjoyed this little multivariable calculus problem. If you want to check out our website, we have books on multivariable calculus. Uh, which are very informative, and so you can dive into this subject more if you're interested. You can also um, go to our YouTube uh, playlist for more advanced knowledge problems of the week, and you can subscribe to our YouTube channel with the links here. Of course, if you're on mobile, there will be a card in the corner for you to click on. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.